Judy Steffes, Washington County Insider.com. Touring today one of the palaces in Seoul. This is the entryway right behind me. They said that on the second floor they used to have a bell and a drum, and that would be how they would keep time with a clock. They explained it, the tour guide explained it. They said they would strike the gong um, or the drum 33 times in the morning and then 28 times uh, in the evening, once to say that the palace was opening and another time to say that the palace is closing. This is over 110 acres and they kept up a lot of the gardening. Uh, we're gonna walk right now over a river area, uh, a bridge, and they said that is the separation between uh, the common people and the royalty. So come along, let's take a look. This apparently was uh, part of the palace where people lived, just generations of princes and kings and rulers. And then up ahead, aside from the scout troop, by a tree that's apparently over 100 years old, is my tour group. And uh, we're going to be crossing this bridge. They also talked about seeing a lot of images of animals. Here's the bridge, the separation between the common people and the royalty. And then if you see a lot of images of animals as we come onto the royal side, they said those animals were protectors of the royalty. And they keep up a lot of the garden area. It said in the brochure that even the kings and the queens tried their hand at the gardening. And then taking a look up, all the chicken wire over the decorative entrances. And I'm sure that's to keep the pigeons out and the colors as clean as they are. Turn to our tour group and keep you up to speed. Thanks for joining me on our tour of Seoul, South Korea. I'm Judy Steffes, Washington County Insider.com.